Hey y'all, this video will be about angels. I have thought about angels my entire life because my grandma used to always say that various people were her angel for the day if they helped her with something. So, that's something that I've always had on my mind. The Bible says, He will command His angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Woot. So, whenever you feel afraid, just remember that. And that will help you to not be afraid. Angels can protect you and will protect you. All you, all you need to do is ask. You have not because you ask not. So if you feel like you need more angelic protection, just pray and ask God for it. Simple as that. <laughs> um, do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for thereby, thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Um, so this can happen that you literally could be interacting with somebody at the store or maybe at work or anywhere and you might literally be talking to an angel, but you think it's just a normal person. Has that happened to me? I don't think so, but I don't know. It's possible. Angels are ministering spirits sent out to serve for the sake of those who are to inherit salvation. They're mainly, they're main, they mainly exist to help, yeah, us who are saved. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. I like that. The angel of the Lord encamps around, encamps around. So that kind of makes it sound like you're always surrounded by angels if you fear God. So you have nothing to be afraid of. No demon, no person, nothing. Bless the Lord, O you his angels, you mighty ones who do his word, obeying the voice of his word. You mighty ones. Yeah, there's a song called Fly by Jason Upton where you can kind of tell that there's something else singing in the song and then there's this other video that explains what happened on YouTube that some kids said that there was like a 12 foot angel standing behind the worship leader, Jason Upton. And I heard that in another video that I saw on YouTube about this guy who had a near death experience. Well, he did die, but then he came back to life. But he got to see into the spiritual realm and he said that there are some angels, some that look just like humans, but then some that are like super tall humans. So that's cool. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 6 2 above him stood the seraphim each had six wings with two he covered his feet and with two he covered yeah his face and with two he flew the seraphim so those are like special angels <laughs> um, see that you do not despise one of these little ones for I tell you that in heaven their angels always see the face of my father who is in heaven so that's confirmation that children for sure do have guardian angels. What's interesting is that it, that's just in reference to little kids. I wonder, so I wonder if at some point, at some age, we lose our guardian angel. Maybe it's like eight. I've always heard that eight is the age of accountability. So maybe at that point, then a kid can become a Christian and then they have the Holy Spirit to protect them. So then they, maybe then they don't need their guardian angel. I don't know. But for sure, little children all have their own personal guardian angel. I tell you, there is joy before the angels of God over one sinner who repents. I've heard that verse many times, like it altar calls at churches. So whenever one person becomes Christian, all the angels have a party. Why? I don't know. Because that's the goal. <laughs> that's the goal for every... Yeah, every angelic assignment, other than keeping us from getting injured, is to save people, you know? Yeah. Over one sinner who repents. Revelation 19.10, I fell at his face to worship him. This is John, who is almost going to worship an angel. But he said to me, you must not do that. I am a fellow servant with you and your brothers who hold to the testimony of Jesus. Worship God. 
So if anybody tells you that they worship angels, tell them they should not do that. <clears throat> Behold, I send an angel before you to guard you on the way and to bring you to the place that I have prepared. Woot. Does this happen every time? I don't know. Maybe. It's nice to think that anytime you go on a journey that maybe there's an angel protecting you and guarding you. And this will happen when the rapture happens. God will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call and they will gather his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. <laughs> this is something I've been thinking about all day actually is that the trumpets that people have been hearing coming from the sky and I think it's legit. I think it's God sounding trumpets. People have been hearing that ever since 2011. So I was thinking that God is like kind of been teasing us <laughs> now for like 13 years. Making us think that it's the end. Maybe the rapture's going to happen. Which kind of makes you think, I wonder if there have been raptures, but we, the rest of us just don't know about it. Like how many raptures are going to happen? Maybe there's multiple raptures. Maybe there's ten raptures. You know? Or he was just warming up. They were warming up their trumpets and getting it ready. <laughs> I know. It's kind of like false alarm. I thought about doing the rapture now. That's why I blew the trumpet, but then I changed my mind. I don't know. I don't know, but maybe that'll happen soon. Maybe the next time someone hears a trumpet, it'll actually be the rapture. That'd be great. Whoop. In the resurrection, people neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like the angels in heaven. So in heaven, there's no marriage. That's probably a good thing. Jesus said to Satan, Do you think that I cannot appeal to my Father and he will at once send me more than 12 legions of angels? That's 12,000. After Satan uh, tempted Jesus, it says, Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and were ministering to him. And that's nice. Daniel 6.22, my God sent his angel and shut the lion's mouth, and they have not harmed me because I was found blameless before him. That's cool. So an angel was there. An angel was there with Daniel when he was in the lion's den. I didn't, I didn't remember that part of the story, but that is pretty great. Can you imagine being thrown into a den with lions? But an angel came to hang out with him. That's great. Um, Acts 5.19, during the night an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors and brought them out. That was, I think, when Peter and Silas were locked up in jail. So things like that could happen now. But anyways, they went to prison for preaching about Jesus. But an angel let them out. Pretty cool. 1 Peter 1.12, it was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves but you and the things that have now been announced to you though through those who preach the good news to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. That's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting because um, I think it's easy to think that angels like know everything, but I guess they don't. Hmm. Innumerable angels. You have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to innumerable angels and feastal gathering. I don't remember the context for that verse, but that's interesting. Innumerable angels. Yeah, there's one verse that says that in heaven there's 10,000 times 10,000 angels. Acts 8.26, Now an angel of the Lord said to Philip, Rise and go toward the south to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so, and then, yeah, when the angel appeared to Joseph in a dream. Uh, Acts 27, For this very night there stood before me an angel of the God to whom I belong and whom I worship. 
Yeah, so there definitely were times where angels appeared to humans in the Bible. Why did they? I don't know. Well, just to, to give a message. But now we have the Holy Spirit talking to us. Well, most of us in our heads. So we don't necessarily need an angel to come and appear and say something to us because the Holy Spirit can just tell us a message in our heads. So I don't know how common it is now that angels appear to people. It's probably not that common. I think mainly angels interact with humans when there's an emergency situation, when they're about to, yeah, like get hurt or something. There's some really good stories that Creflo Dollar gives in his sermon titled Angels. Um, he said that there was a few times where he could have died, but he felt like an angel was protecting him. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm sure you all have some stories about angels. You should share your stories with your friends and family or coworkers or whoever. Because everybody likes hearing stories about angels. Personally, I don't have any. Well, my grandma said that she was riding in a plane one time with this guy and they were running out of gas and they couldn't find a spot to land and she saw an angel part the clouds and they saw an open field that they could land in. And then this other time she said that her van was rolling back into traffic. Maybe she forgot to put on the parking brake and she saw a host of angels holding the cars back so she could run out and get her van. So those are the, those are the only two stories that I've heard. But pretty cool. Anyways, God loves y'all. God bless. Bye.